Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today I have a really, really exciting game for you. This is called Punbarian, and this is a roguelike deck builder combined with chess, and it's a demo that's part of the Sim Game Demo Festival, so it's quite early in the game's development, but it's already really, really fun to play, and it's so clean. I love, I love the graphics of it, just everything, just... It's exactly what you would think of when you think of like chess and deck builder and it just works so well. No, why does it keep giving me? Come on, okay, we gotta start this again. Abandon my ramp, please. It doesn't wanna give me, like I want a new, a new run. It keeps giving me like my previous run. Yeah, thank you. I just want a new run, okay. Now this is how it starts. Now for some reason we're getting cards that we shouldn't have. Like these these marks are special effects that I was able to get in my previous Let's Play. I'm not quite sure why we get them from the beginning. It, it might be that we get some random special cards from the beginning and that's why. But I think it's more likely that this is like a leftover from my previous run, which I don't think it should be happening. But regardless, we're going to keep it. And the way this works is that I'm this pawn barian over here. And here you can see my enemies. If I step in any of these red zones, I will take damage equal to the red um, marks over here. So for example, here it's one damage, here it's two damage. You can also see it up here on the top. And each monster has special ability. For this capybara, they're just like doing regular damage. But this blighted capybara leaves the blight under itself. And blight gives you additional damage from being there. How do you kill enemies? By jumping on top of them. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this horse and obviously based on what this thing you click uh, that's the kind of move you can have. So if you get a tower you can move like a tower moves in chest. If you get a horse you can jump like a horse moves in chest or a knight. Sorry not a horse. When you check it's called a horse but obviously a knight is what I meant to say. And then if you grab a pawn you can just move upward. So we're gonna jump over here onto this guy. Then I am going to take one step with my pawn. Now pawns normally move up, as you know, but also if, if a pawn is to destroy something, it sort of crosses diagonally. So that's what we're gonna do. I have a special pawn shield, absorbs a point of damage this turn. So if I step here and end my turn here, which I just did, I'm going to only take one damage because this uh, actually i would have taken two damage but the two was because there was another monster there i killed the monster so then it was just one damage and i had a shield for one damage so it ended up with zero all right so what can we do here first of all we could move up and then we could move diagonally down i guess that's what we're gonna do i also have a special pawn ability to attack orthogonal neighbors after moving and attack diagonal neighbors after moving uh, none of that are helpful for me because I'm going to be too high. So I'm going to start with this uh, pawn with the counter, gain an action and draw a card. So I'm going to move up. You can see my number of actions right here. So it remains a two because uh, it gave me an extra power. And I'm going to step onto the enemy, kill it, went down to one action and then it's done. Now at the moment we are in a shop. In shop you have unlimited amount of movement. Up on the top here you have your money. And then you could jump onto one of these to gain... A bonus. I would probably like to get a few more lives, so I'm gonna jump up here and get go there. So now I have four lives, and I could upgrade one of my knight movements to gain a shield after, or a tower with orthogonal with attacking orthogonal neighbors after moving. No, I can only actually, actually I can only get the knight or a pawn with a shield. I think we'll grab a knight with a shield, that seems like a better decision. Now we're done, I'm going to move to the next floor. There's seven floors in the demo, so let's see how far we can get. Alright, now these guys are really, really tough because they have a nimble when attacked. So the first three times you jump on them, they dodge the attack, unless they're pinned against the wall or another enemy. And then here we've got Dublin archers who are actually even worse because they also dodge attacks and on top of that, they they uh, do like a range attack. I'm gonna move up here. And I'm just gonna move one step up. I'm gonna give myself a shield just in case someone does attack me. Now at this moment I'm gonna jump down towards the archer but I'm pushing him away. Now if I attack him again he actually can't step away because he's blocked by the wall. So this allowed me to kill him fairly nicely. Now we still get this guy. So I'm gonna jump on him and give myself a shield. Then I'm gonna hit him again, but he still has one more charge and I couldn't move anymore, but I had the shield which protected me. Oh, we can go like this, so we're gonna take our queen and just step on him and we're down. Floor two, finished. Let's go and grab all of these beautiful crystals to give us money. Now we've got 11 gold. I would like another shield with a knight. 
possibly another shield with a pawn or do we take the tower with the diagonal oh this is good attack diagonal neighbors after moving yeah let's grab that and we're gonna move on to the next floor i mean this game is just so good i'm so, so, so excited for the for the what it's gonna look like at the end i presume we might get like a different character once the game is fully released because it seems like you get basic abilities for from your Fonbarian. so yeah and this allows you to promote a pawn whenever you move into the top row, start a turn into top row, or have three pawns in our hand. So if you were to move up here, one of our pawns would automatically get upgraded. So let's start by... what is this? Blight stack? Leaves the blight on all adjacent squares that stays there until you finish your turn. I think we're gonna jump up here. And then we're gonna use the king. Oh, we're gonna get hurt here at least once. That was not a good move. I guess we'll move down. They'll hit us. And they're gonna surround us. But okay, we've got the... We've got options. We'll start with the tower, which will give us... So if we move to here, we'll get diagonal attacks. So we killed a lot of stuff. Then I'm going to use my pawn to move upwards which is going to give me one more action and then i'm going to use my shield to jump on top of this guy but also keep a shield so they actually won't hurt me how many you have one more nimble charge you do not so let's move down and then use a pawn to step onto him and we're down perfection i'm gonna need more health i think let's first jump onto the crystal and i think we're just gonna grab a little bit more health we should also try to make sure that we stand on the top position a little bit more because it does give us the bonuses on our pawns. What is this? Goblin Archer, he's immune while there are any non-champions. So we have to kill everybody else first. That doesn't seem too bad. This is going to give us diagonal attacks after we move. Okay, let's do it. We'll step there. Oh. Oh, this is unfortunate. So I thought that I would be able to run away this way, but because it created these blight stacks, which again, so we're gonna get hit for one here. Every time we like buy one health, we get hit immediately. All right, we could get a counter pawn. Let's do it. Another pawn. Let's just jump on the top. This upgraded my pawn to a queen, which I could, oh, now I have a queen with a counter, which is pretty awesome. So I could move down here and then attack this guy. But if I stand there, I'm going to die. So I'm just gonna move to here, I think. Oh, I can use my towers on them. Maybe let's move down here. We'll be a bit closer to them, but that's gonna allow us to do better attacks. So one move and we'll attack an orthogonal neighbors after moving at diagonal neighbors. Okay, let's do that. So we killed all of these. Now the only thing we have to kill is this, but I'm more important, I need to get out of this bad position. So I'm gonna use my king to move... Actually, maybe I should use... I can move, move only here with my shield and then I'll get hit for three, so we're just gonna jump this way. Okay, I could use my horse... Still have nimble three. Let's move the horse upwards. We'll upgrade the queen to gain defense. And I think we'll just do nothing. Let it come to me. Okay, good. Now we can use the queen to hit it. And then we'll use the horse to jump away and get a shield. Now we can use the queen. And then the tower. And then the tower again. And it's dead. Perfect. As always, we'll need way more HP. I'm gonna grab this. We still have eight left, so we could get or or talk a diagonal attack with splash with our pawn, or diagonal attack with our rook. Is that a rook in English? I think that's rook in English. It's definitely not rook in Czech, but. <laughs> Or the literal translation of work, obviously. Oh, it's bishop. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Oh, this is the work. Okay. Never mind. Well... 
What do we have here? Attack diagonal neighbors after moving. This would allow me to move here and kill this. So kill these two, or actually just give an attack on this guy. And then we would have to use the horse to jump here. Which gives us the shield. Okay. Now. I could move the king here, then use the pawn to attack this, which is going to give me one more action. And then if I move ahead, no, I'm going to die. So we're going to have to use the bishop to just run. Here, okay, what do we have? We'll start with diagonal attack after moving. That's kind of pointless here. We could start with the pawn, and then I'm going to use the horse. Or actually, if I move here, I should be able to kill this, and there's no attack on me. I'm going to move down with my tower, up to the right with my pawn, which will give me the extra energy and then we're gonna attack with our tower on this guy great we pushed him away because he couldn't run okay let's move here we gain 15 points so we could get a tower that actually gives us an action after sure let's do that uh, i should have grabbed the health but too late I might die but that's okay <laughs> sorry about calling the rook a tower it's because I'm used to the words in Czech, so this is obviously called a, a, a tower in Czech. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna call it that, and then I realized, you know what, that's not how it works, never mind. We could do first the pawn, which would give us orthogonal and diagonal attack, so it would attack all these three. And then we'll run away with the tower. That worked. What is this? Oh, it's another champion and gives us blight as well. We'll move up, which will give us an additional action. A horse, which will give us a shield. And a king, which will move us to a good position. Horse. I've got a queen, which, gives, which will give me additional action. Another queen, which could kill this. And that's it. Good. I could actually straight up attack this. Yeah, okay, let's do it. No, I didn't realize that it's gonna spawn these things. You gotta always remember that, like, they spawn stuff. If I go down here, and then use my pawn, I can kill two of these and keep a shield so it's not gonna murder me. This will give me extra action. This will kill it, and we're done. Okay, 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 okay. This was a bit, a bit of a tougher one. Okay, we need, we need, we definitely need health. There's no way I cannot have health. What is this? Attack orthogonal neighbors after me. I wish there would be like more stuff with shields. This gives me an extra action and orthogonal attack. So this is probably the best decision. I wonder if we can do all floors. Oh, maybe, maybe. We only have two health for final floor though. Not ideal. Yeah, if we stay where we are, we are immediately dead. We're gonna move here so we can get that extra action. I'm gonna move this way, which will give me a shield, and then down to kill this thing. I still have my shield. Or wait, if we use an, this one, and we'll step up here, we will kill two things and not get hurt at all. So that was actually, well actually we, we did get attacked when we had the shield. This is extra action and a lot of attacks. So if I move here, that went okay. I have two more moves. Where could I step so that I could afterwards use my... This is blight. I'm going to move down here, and then I'm going to use this pawn to get into this position. 
No, but wouldn't this kill me? I don't think we really have a choice. We might die here. We're gonna try this. Yeah, we're dead. On the final fight, that was a bad move. I was gonna be focusing a little bit too much on attacking everybody and it killed me. But you can see that this is a really, really cool game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other roguelike deck builders that we play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye!